All right, so today I am going to be reviewing some more Marvel Legend figures. So I'm going to be reviewing three Eternals because I bought them when they were on clearance because it, I figured it'd be easy to create the Gilgamesh figure because that's the one I really wanted from this line. So I'll be opening up Druig Cersei, which I am excited for because I mean, I am a huge fan of that Gemma Chan, Kingo. So I am a huge fan of Kumai. Nanji Ani, uh, so a huge fan. I did like him in the big six, so I don't mind this figure. I don't, I do think it looks kind of on the uglier side at first glance, but I'm still excited for it. And also to break apart from all the Eternals figures, I'm also going to be opening up this Wen Wu figure. No, no, not Wen Wu. Xiaoling, uh, who is uh, Shang Chi's sister from uh, a Shang Chi movie. So I will open up Druid's figure. So opening up. Fuck, that's so bright. So opening up, I'm not a big fan of the background that comes with it. It looks like it has like maybe Eternals like handwriting. It looks almost Egyptian. I don't think there's, I, I find the background just not to be fun to look at in my opinion. So I'm just gonna set that aside. Time to get Druig out of the plastic. It's easy, it's too fist. Uh, and then go the side. All right, so at first glance, figure is fairly ugly. I don't really see the actor um, who plays Druig very well. Definitely, in my opinion, kind of looks like a discount McLovin. Wow, wow, that's actually really bad. So I guess in favor for the shoulder pauldron, there's no articulation in his arm. So you have to kind of, it can only really move up and down and a little bit to the side like this. So but yeah, it's super limiting, but that's disappointing. Let's lift up his skirt. Um, not a lot of detail, just kind of like black pants suit. I don't know why this figure would come with fists, mostly just because he doesn't really, f he doesn't really fight in the movie. He does more like manipulation type of stuff, so. Good elbow bending though, at least. And because of the skirt, you also don't get like a lot of like leg movement too. So that's the most you get. And the knees are... I think in total I paid for like $10 for this figure. And I would say it's probably, I don't even think it's worth it for the 10. Um, I only bought it because I really wanted to build Field Flemish because I like the actor a lot. So I would say the figure is only okay. I kind of bend a, you can kind of swivel the angles that you can tell. Kind of. Oh no, you can't even swivel the angles. Interesting. Druid sucks. He does suck. Alright, so the next figure I'm going to open up is Cersei. Also, I should have mentioned this for uh, Druid's figure. Kumai Nanji Nani's figure, or Kingo. Uh, I did buy these at FYE, which they did have them at clearance. So that was actually a really random story. Uh, Target was clearancing the Eternals figures very slowly, but for whatever stupid reason, they decided to clearance Sprite, I think, the girl, like the small girl figure first. I would prefer getting Cersei first, like, but she wasn't even available until like afterwards. And at, at that point, I couldn't find the figure in stores anymore. So I had to like buy it from FYE. All right, let's open up Cersei. The back is also kind of similar to, I think I might keep this one though, just cause I do like Gemma Chan a lot more than the actor for Druig. I think the Druig actor is great though, especially in his portrayal of Joker. His character in, in the actual movie, it isn't even that bad. I thought it was very thought provoking that the one that's the most manipulative of humans is also the most kind towards the humans too. It was an interesting idea that I feel like it not, didn't really go anywhere. All right, off topic. Let's go back to the Cersei figure. Let's get Cersei, let's get Cersei out. So first glance, figure looks okay. Um, I don't see the likeliness of Gem and Chan very much in this figure. Uh, but the detail on the figure is pretty good because you, it, everything's kind of separate. They also even add the moles on the figure too, that to like really show Gemma Chan's beauty marks. But in my opinion, so I don't really 
see Gemma Jan in, in this figure. Um, good shoulder and wrist articulation. Bends pretty well. This figure feels very like smooth. Maybe it was open prior, but yeah. I do like the little tiny drapey of the skirt in the back. I think that's a nice touch. Good amount of hip movement. I get that much with the knee. Uh, you do, you can kind of do that bendy thing, but the figure kind of like goes against it. I think that's fine though. I, it's funny because like, wait, so I guess it's ironic. Um, so the figure also does come with this flowy hair, which helps with the art, like being able to move your character around. But I feel like when it comes to the actual posing, like it's gonna look weird that the hair is like moving to the side or something like that. Overall, I think for like ten dollars, definitely not a bad figure. Um, I do know some people are using this body specifically for a uh, custom job for making a Mantis figure. Um, Mantis specifically from the MCU. Uh, she is a builder figure, so definitely a very expensive figure to get. And I think the base buy of Cersei does make for a pretty good custom for Mantis. But yeah, I do like the figure enough. I get, also, even though I'm okay with the skirt, skirt does get in the way of the um, poses with the figure. Ugh, like, I do wish that Hasbro would do more of like cloth or soft goods versus these soft plastics. 10 bucks, I think it's fine. Kind of basic, but I'm more happy with this one with Druid, so I would say good for the price tag. All right, so for my last eternal figure I'm opening up um, is going to be Kingo. I also want to note really quickly that of the figures that are really hard to find from this line, he and Sprite were definitely the hardest ones. I remember seeing only him at like GameStop and FYE. I bought him for 950 as well. Pretty much the same price for all three of these figures. Or at least they were for me. Same background as the others. Get him out. So he actually comes with like quite a few accessories. He comes with three different uh, hands. Uh, and then he also even gets two um, effects for his hands as well too. So that's a good touch as well. So first glance, um, I'm not a big fan of the head design for this figure just because I don't like that smirk that the figure has. So good articulation. Um, the arms are kind of like, they're kind of like their own joints specifically. And so they kind of move into the uh, actual chest area pretty smoothly. 90 degree, a little bit less, so it's okay. This one, this elbow is a lot more loose than the other one. Good elbow and movement fine. Ooh, this fist was really rough. So I guess I also forgot to mention this, but uh, at least with the Cersei figure, uh, Cersei's figure's uh, torso had a lot of articulation. This one kind of has it, but it feels a lot more rough in comparison. So it's like, I imagine that these outfits were very constricting on the body movements. Druig is definitely the worst one of the bunch because he doesn't really have any. Um, yeah, because of the skirt, there's not a lot of freedom to do uh, poses in a certain ways, so that's disappointing. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna take off his right hand. This figure looks weird. <laughs> I do wish that there was just a bit more inward bend just cause it can only do this. Like it can only go out so far. I think J. Jonah Jameson's figure is kind of like the best example where the figure bent more inward than it was should have been. I wish that there was a bit more of that flexibility. Overall, I would say the figure is just okay. I am, again, I, I mostly bought this just so I can build Gilgamesh, but I do like this actor as well too. Also I should add too, his figure, his figure does have a lot of cool details in the chest area, like a lot of gold and silver patterns. I just realized this figure also has, um, this, is de this is a defect, but you can actually kind of see that the gold is kind of misaligned, so that it was a bad paint job on their part. It does come with the uh, Gilgamesh's right hand, so technically essential. All right, this is actually kind of dumb. This figure included three fists, three additional appendages for Kingo, but Two of them are already duplicate uh, left hands. Two of them are duplicate left hands to the point where there's no point for that. It's like as if Hasbro knew that the, this figure was going to be a bust. 
or this lane was going to be a bust. Overall, I would say his figure is just okay. Definitely of the three so far, I think Cersei is my favorite. So for my final figure, I'm going to be opening up, I'm going to be opening up Shaolin, who is Shang-Chi's uh, sister from the movie Shang-Chi. I originally never intended to buy this figure. I definitely, this was another example of buying it at GameStop, 50% off sale. So this figure I got at a huge deal. So she wasn't on my radar, mostly just cause I didn't find her figure to be very worthwhile. And it's not Hasbro's fault. I would bl actually blame the designers for Shang-Chi just because they went with like these very sleek modern outfits. Like in my opinion, I would have preferred like a more comic accurate Shang-Chi outfit than what we got. Right, let's open up this figure. I, um, yeah, I can really tell that this figure does look on the basic side, but in comparison to the Shang-Chi figure that it looks like, she has a better head sculpt than we got for Simu Liu. So this actress got a more accurate representation than Simu. So her background art, it's kind of hard to see, but it's just kind of like the same pattern that's on her shirt. Very, very boring. I definitely won't keep this one, but I might keep the Eternals one. Switch that one out. So let's, let's get this figure out. Uh, there seems to be a blemish on her butt. That's disappointing. So that's a factory de defect. At first glance, the figure actually looks pretty re uh, similar to the actual actress of the uh, Shaolin, Shaolin character. Ooh, look at that. She goes above um, 90 degree angle, so the law of articulation. Good, good elbow movement. Very smooth, but still kind of on the rough side, so it's good. Legs do feel pretty good. No ankle bending, so but that's fine. Yeah, legs do do that weird 90 degree bend that I personally don't like. Not. Not 90 degree, but it does do that flat surface that I don't personally like on figures, unless they're like, I guess kind of like Spider-Man, where like they require a lot of posability. Overall, I'd say, aside from the things on the back that I'm gonna have to clean up, this figure is actually really good. I'm actually surprised. Torso bend's kind of okay, but kind of feels a little on the stiffer side. So this is actually kind of like pants I was telling about, talking about in like, for Star-Lord T'Challa. I wish they added a little bit more ruggedness to it just because it made it very seem way too sleek than it actually was. But yeah, I liked it. I like this figure a lot actually. So this one I bought at $13 clearance, but half off. So I bought this for like $7.50. I would say this figure is probably worth at least 12. It just because good articulation points, really great designing. Uh, it looks very similar to the actual character. The, like, I'm not again, big fan of the Shang-Chi designs, but still, uh, credit where credit's due, good figure. The figure also comes with like a lot of additional add-ons too. It does come with this rope weapon that she uses in the movie, which is unfortunate because you can't actually use it. It's just a singular piece, it's a singular blocky piece. She also does get like three sets of hands. Um, so we have two hands that are like open pinch like this. Can't open them, so I'm not sure what these would be good for. You do get some closed fists and, oh. Am I missing one? Oh wow, it only comes with five hands, okay. So it does come with an odd number of extra hands, so five in total. Two of them are fist sets, two of them are kind of like this. That circular motion that was a meme where you can like sucker punch someone afterwards if they saw this below your waist. Uh, I forgot what that was called, but. We're doing this new thing called the circle game. Basically, if you can make the other guy look at your hand when you're doing this, below your waist, you get to hit them in the arm. It's stupid, but hey, you get to hit people. And then, kind of like an open hand, you can kind of tell that this one's meant for the actual rope, like that. Yeah, overall I would say this of the figures is actually a good figure for the price. Very comparable to Cersei, but I like this one more. All right, so this movie, this is also going to be kind of like a partial criticism for like Hasbro as well as the movie Shang-Chi. The, this Hasbro line of build figures only came with four figures from the actual movie. And then two other figures were Amberverse as well as a Tony Stark AI of the classic armor. What the hell? Like, this is like the first like Chinese movie entry. And then like, they only get like four figures while Black Panther got like its own line. That's a little disappointing, but at the same time, I guess I can't really fault Hasbro into that entirely. Um, or can I? We would have loved a figure of Michelle Yeoh's character. Also, I guess that's also a shoot. 
to mention too, this figure for whatever reason doesn't include Aquafina's character in the back, even though it should be going right here, even if they don't, if it doesn't come with a build line figure, it's still part of the same line. So yeah, I, I guess I'm disappointed that Hasbro didn't make more figures from this series, like as if they didn't have the faith in it. Uh, missed opportunity would have been Michelle Yeoh's character, as well as another missed opportunity was Actually, you know, I think the only one really is Michelle Yeoh's character because aside from that, I can't think of any other figures on the top of my head that could have been made from this line. Oh, actually, I guess I, can, I do have to fault Hasbro a little bit because the build a figure was a guy called Mr. Hyde. I mean, the figure looks cool, but how does this relate to Shang-Chi? At least with other movie figure lines, they at least tie it in with a build a figure from that movie. So Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness had uh, Rintaro, and then these, this Eternal line also came with build a figures for Gilgamesh. I think that was a mistake in my opinion. I think Gilgamesh should have been his own figure, but I mean, Rintaro was like such a big figure, like they would probably be a good build a line figure. So like, why couldn't they do a build a figure of the dragon that we see in the movie? Like we, like they've done that before in the past where they include build a figure parts for Fin Fang Foom. So it's just like, it's definitely half-assed in my opinion, in terms of this line for Shang-Chi. Like they, they created figures of like, they created these figures for representation. And then we got like this half-assed like creations. Having like maybe a, a figure of the actual dragon that was included with it. I think that could have been better. And then again, there's still other characters from this movie that didn't get adapted, even though they're big starter names like Michelle Yeoh. Michelle Yeoh's character who was the anti. Also, I'm glad they never made a figure for the Mandarin's uh, return. So I think that would have been very stupid. I would not have wanted that. Right, that's about it with that part. Okay, so let's do final thoughts. The first figure I opened up was Druig. I thought Druig was disappointing, even for that cheaper price tag of $10. Um, I don't recommend it. His figure has a lot of limitations and it just makes for a very unfun experience. I think Cersei is a good figure for the price, paid $10 for her, and she has the potential to do a lot of custom figures, so that's a huge plus. The details on the figure are really good. I unfortunately don't think she looks enough like Gemma Chan, but I like the design of the figure enough where I would keep her uh, displayed. Good figure. Kingo, I would say, is an okay figure. I think he looks enough like Kumai Nanjinani, but some of his atoms are kind of lame, as well as I don't like that his face has the constant smirk. Fuck. I think that he could have done a better design. And also mine has the defect where the lines aren't drawn properly on his chest. And then finally, uh, Xiaoling, um, the sister of Chang-Chi. I actually like this figure a lot for $7.50. Um, so for eight dollars, pretty much for eight dollars, I think her fig I think her figure was definitely worth it. She was definitely worth it for the price. I think if I really needed to, I would have been okay paying with the twelve dollar price tag for her as well too. Um, of the four, she's definitely going to be my favorite. So going back to it, bad, good, okay, and great. And um, yeah, so that's about it with this toy haul. Uh, if you guys like this video, feel free to like it as well as subscribe to my channel. And feel free to tell me also what was your favorite figure that I reviewed today. Personally for me, the Xiaoling character from Shang-Chi was my favorite of the four. And Cersei was definitely in second. And uh, yeah, uh, I will see you guys for the next one. Bye. Whew.